This is our top story tonight. There are plans for a new hotel coming to Townsend, but not everyone is on board. Some people who live there are speaking out against the development. Six on your side reporter Molly O'Brien now shares their concerns. Back in May of 2023, we reported about a possible campground being proposed in Townsend by Yonder Hospitality, who has since changed their name to Oveland. Months later, those plans have now evolved to a hotel. They're calling it a hotel. Doesn't look like any other hotel in the state of Tennessee, but they're calling it a hotel. The proposed hotel has been approved by the Planning Commission, leaving some residents frustrated. We want people to be able to come in and enjoy the river, the hiking, our bears. If they rezone 27 acres, we've lost habitat for, for sure two mothers and cubs that we know exist on that 27 acres. Pat Jenkins, another resident of Townsend, echoing Tommy McAvoy's thoughts. He fears that this peaceful side of the Smokies will no longer exist. I feel like that uh, way of life is now just getting reduced to a slogan, an advertising slogan, that all the businesses are using to attract more customers to the city. And uh, that bothers me a lot. The pair tells us they welcome tourists, but they fear this hotel will turn Townsend into a place like Gatlinburg. We're not anti-business and we're not anti-tourist. Obviously, a lot of our, of, of our profit comes from, from that. But we want to be an alternative to Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. And if the developers come in here, that will go away. Noise and traffic are two of the main concerns surrounding this hotel. And McEvoy and Jenkins aren't the only ones opposing the plans. 4,000 signatures from both locals and visitors. And our, we want to keep Townsend peaceful. We want, we don't want an outdoor movie theater playing music and loud things until 10 or 11 o'clock at night. In Townsend, Molly O'Brien, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Molly, thank you. You know, as for what's next, we spoke with the Townsend City Manager, Danny Williamson. He tells us the Planning Commission has approved the plans based on three contingencies. Once the developer fulfills those contingencies, they'll have to come back to the Planning Commission and present updated plans. We've reached out to developers of land, and so far we have not received a response.